Good morning, everyone, and happy day seven of Vlogmas. I am just editing yesterday's Vlogmas, and I figured I would take a little break, open up today's advents. Um, I know I'm behind on getting Vlogmas up, but uh, I had to edit two days of Vlogmas yesterday and get them up because... I had too many busy days, so now I am going to open my Olive and June Advent because this is the first one. Oh my gosh. I actually have to do my nails tonight. Um, as you can see, not so much on this hand, but on the other hand. Let me show you. My nails are chipping a little bit, so I definitely have to do those tonight. And this is great because I really, really, really wanted to do a green. Um, so this is the color because these are minis of full colors they have in their collection too. Oh, of course I have it upside down. Besties. And it's like this pretty cooler green color. Kind of like a nice like pine green like evergreen green. Hey Peach, did you make yourself a nest? Are you all cozy? <laughs> Are you having a good day? Okay, super exciting, time to open these up. So first is Return of the King, and I'm gonna tear it today. Yesterday, I did not tear it because I didn't want to, I don't know, it's just kinda like I go with the flow each day. Ooh, okay, this is a beautiful purpley. It says, the choice of Arwen Evenstar. So I'm gonna take this off. So we can see all of those beautiful speckles. Sort of has like a deep blue, like a navy blue, some purple, some greens. Oh, I love this one. I actually, oh, I actually don't think that I got to see this one before it was wrapped. So this one's a complete surprise to me. It's so what pretty. label back on and then we have the Bridgerton advent and if you are new here these are both Bumblebee Acres advents so from our farm um and dye studio Ooh. okay another one of my all-time favorites I keep saying this about the Bridgerton collection but it's true. I just, I love so many of these colors. This one is Kate. So if you've seen season two, this is our main girl. And she always wears the most beautiful, beautiful colors. And I have, if you hear buzzing, that's because Walgreens is calling me to tell me my prescriptions are ready. Um, but yes, this one is so pretty it's inspired by her outfits she like a lot of times wears these rich royal purples teals um golds and so we gave her a really rich speckly multi-dimensional speckly color and day seven of the witcher advent and this is by nitty vampire she closed them all with these super cute seals. Sometimes they pop right open and sometimes they tear, which is kind of cool. It's kind of like a new seal experience every time. I don't think I've ever really opened wax seals before. So like, I'm definitely like feeling the vibe. This is a beautiful green. Choke on your envy. It's so funny because every day it kind of seems like the colors you know, kind of vibe together. And like, 
greens, purples, blues, green. <laughs> they all kind of go. But um, I love this one. It's a beautiful tonal to go with the, with the group. And that's it for opening admins today. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> there. Smile with it. Just got the Winter Witch Cowl up on Ravelry. I am so excited. You could get 15% off with the code WINTER22 at checkout. And yeah, I am so <laughs> relieved it is done. Um, I love writing patterns, but I also get very stressed out about it so i hope that you guys love this pattern it is a super quick and pretty easy knit and you don't have to use this fun yarn um and we do have the this yarn the texture packs in the shop that i used i used a ziggy sock texture pack um you can use any dk yarn you could also use hand spun yarn i think would be beautiful with this but yeah, so it is all done. And this was my first sketch of the pattern. So I'm like very happy with how it turned out. It looks on a lot like how I sketched it out. So yeah, I just, I just love when it comes together how I had planned. But um, Sen, B and I are going to pack orders now. It took me a little longer to do this than I thought. We're gonna go pack orders, then run to ship them and uh, go do some shopping and maybe grab some dinner out. Packing orders. These are so cute. Things are already disappearing from the shop. Lots more to pack. <sighs> okay, all the orders are packed. The Tucson is stuffed, and now we are ready to go run some errands. We we're gonna go to the library today and finally get our library cards, but uh, it's a little too late for that, so I gotta go grab my purse and then we are on our way. Okay. Hi, guys. Hi guys! Sam B. Sun B. 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 Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lie we're, <laughs> we're waiting for our dinner while we're running errands yep. and we just wanted to pop in and say hi and we just dropped off orders yep, yep. ton yep. of orders yep like 70 something yep yep bye getting some treats we found butter egg and cocoa biscotti and a milk and coffee biscotti and we're gonna try these out yeah <laughs> I love the food aisle. Sometimes you can find such cool things at Marshalls and like TJ Maxx for food. Yeah, like these. What is that? They're edible spoons. Oh so you can goodness. like eat your ice cream with it and then eat the spoon. <laughs> I feel like kids would love that. Sometimes they get messed up like halfway through though. That's, that's the true. only down, that's the only downside. It's like downside. a paper straw. It's like halfway through your drink, it's like mush. It's not working anymore and you're like, well. Okay. Yes, I'm gonna sip it. Do we need any like, uh... ooh, look at all the honey. Ooh, <gasps> Pure Vermont them. maple syrup? Uh -huh. I wish they had a smaller one. I know. They always because do the we don't need a giant one. Actually, maybe they do have one, do Oh, that looks like blackberry puree. I don't know, they have a pecan thing like that. I don't know what that means. Bourbon flavored tea. Mm -hmm. Not really necessary, just put bourbon in your tea. <laughs> hey, that's how 
how you make a hot toddy and it's good. Yep, that's how, that's how you do it. No, I feel coffee. like the biscotti. Well, Are like, there any good coffees like we should try? I don't see any. Cafe Verona? Yeah, no, that one like Mickey Mouse weird one. Maybe they have it I at know, the Disney one. The, the Disney, Disney so the good. Disney coffee is weirdly good. We found Disney coffee here once, and it was so good. Okay. Oh, cocoa bombs! Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to try to do that. Aren't these little tiny mini rolling pins cute though? Yeah. And like the little cookie thingies. Oh, I need right to now? find baskets in a certain dimension. Oh, they have so many. Ooh, that's a pretty birthday card. Every birthday card for my birthday. Thank you. You're getting your own birthday card? I'm getting my own birthday card. Listen, oh once you God. see something, you say that I would like that. I keep all my cards. This is like, this is my oh vibe. Oh my gosh. You guys, she's getting her own birthday card this year. Hey, oh my gosh, these would be good. Where's Haleana? We need a cart. We need a cart. We didn't get a cart and we definitely, like, we need a cart. Look, how about saddle and cardamom? Sometimes I don't know about these. You want something that smells like a saddle? A saddle? A saddle. A saddle? There are so many good planners, and now that Haleana's like looking for a planner, I want to help her. Baby B's looking for a planner because she's starting community college next semester. And I am so excited for her. And they have like a million cute planners. Let me show you guys. They have literally so many planners so many and they're all so cool so yeah is that the one you picked out yeah it's it's the bees. what's it look like okay, wait. very cute you stickers in there i really like the tabs i know that's so that's pleasing nice. the calendar is nice and open yeah. too i don't like when they're too crowded and like additional notes and stuff like Perfect. that's really like birthdays Perfect. It's perfect. Oh my gosh. It's <laughs> Peach. It's Peach. Look at the chances that we found Butchie here. So all the kids have just gone into Walmart. We did our Marshall shopping. So they are going grocery shopping and I'm gonna wait in the car and unwind a little bit because I was kind of running around and doing a ton of stuff today. Um, the pattern is up. The witch, uh, winter witch cowl is live. I'm so happy about it. Um, discount code is in the comments below. If you want to get 25% off, I am only dropping that here in the newsletter and for um, Bunny Bee and Goat Bee patrons. So you can only get it on this Vlogmas and those other two spots. But anyways, I am um, I'm just gonna sit in the car, relax. Sometimes Walmart is very overstimulating for me and my um, issues with holding, holding my phone. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna go on my phone a bit and read and uh, unwind. As soon as I get home, I'm gonna go and do my chores right away and then, and then, and then edit Vlogmas and get it up. And then I am home free. Then I am home free for the night. Well guys, we are home. I am about to go bring the goats this lovely medley of chips and an old banana. Um, the goats love that sort of thing. Uh, we still have stuff on the counters that needs to be put away. After grocery shopping, um, I also was trying to clean and the dogs are barking in the background because they were being fed in the garage and they want to come in. I was trying to clean. This looks like a mess, but I was trying to clean Haleana's baby bees, her fountain pen nib. So it stopped feeding ink, but she still had ink in her cartridge. And so I, um, I tried rinsing it, but it's still... I was literally rinsing it forever and it's still putting out ink. So 
I don't know. I'm going to let it dry now and hopefully tomorrow it's fine, but it's still putting out so much ink. But when I was soaking it, it wasn't putting out ink. So I don't, I don't know if it's just being like defective in a way. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna soak it more because I'm really worried about it. Like I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin it. So I'm gonna soak it more and hopefully, hopefully it's okay in the morning. I'm using, um, our RO unit water so it's uh it shouldn't gunk it up with like calcium or rust or anything hopefully and uh just let this sit for I don't know the night hopefully it and then tomorrow I'll dry it and if and it is what it is it is what it is at that point so something i did want to talk about while i am here is what do i wear when i do my chores in the winter because um it can get pretty chilly and i need the use of my hands so i <laughs> figured i would tell you guys i wear cold weather grips by what company is these are these i get them at our farm and fleet they might, WL, I think that's the brand, W, WL, um, but they are fleece lined and they only last me like half the winter because eventually the bottoms start wearing out and they start holding moisture in there and then they're not good. I am wearing two wool hats. I'm actually wearing a shimmer sock twister hat and the lighting isn't very good in here. Underneath a... This might be like a Malabrigo. It is from forever ago and it is pretty beat up, but my friend knit it and I bought it from her in college at like a small craft show that she was vending. Um, and I absolutely love it because it was our college colors and it's kind of just now my, my chore hat. I wear my Carhartt fleece lined jacket um, and it has a hood. So on very cold days, and actually I just wear the hood anyways now because of the pigeons. And worst case scenario, what happens with the pigeons? Um, and I'll wear usually a flannel. If it is like the negative zeros, I'll wear my um, North Remembers cowl, which is one of my patterns. I wear that one because it is the one of the warmest, but now that I just came out with that... Um, with the winter witch cowl. I might start wearing that one because you can breathe in it very well. It's a little more open, the stitches, um, but it is super, super, super warm in it. But both of those stay up around your face really, really well. Um, I usually wear like a flannel. Sometimes I'll wear an alpaca cardigan um, underneath, depending how cold it is. And then um, for my shoes, I wear um, the fleece lined bean boots and oh, there goes my glove and I've been wearing these they are very beat up because these are my farm boots I wear them all year round um, to do my chores because they are they're really nice I have a um, shearling so they're like shearling lined so real wool and then I have a shearling um, uh, what is it insole in there as well so they are very toasty, but also moisture wicking in the summer. And yeah, they're, they're really nice. Um, on very, very, very high snow days, I wear taller boots, um, my Sorrel boots that are pretty much the same makeup as these guys. Uh, they don't have actual wool lining, but they are actually, I have them right here. I have one of them and they're her Queen Bee's boots. They're a little dusty because I haven't worn them yet this year. I wear these guys because I can get through taller snow in this. And yeah, that is my uh, my winter garb for doing chores. I figured I'd let you know all the layers I wear <laughs> and everything. And I do actually wear wool. I would, um, this Carhartt and all of my 
farm chore stuff is dirty because it's not a fashion show. It's to make sure that I am comfortable where, while I am tending to the animals and making sure they are as well off as I possibly can make them. But yeah, so it is officially the end of Vlogmas. I will put in Queen B and Bro B's Disney segment in now. And uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye! I figured I would show you guys me giving the goats their treats. Hey, little goat. Only one is inside, though. Everybody else is out and about. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do you want a, do you want a banana? Look, I have this for you. I have this banana. You want this? Come on, little goat. Whenever there's one just sitting in here, I stress out that they're not well, but uh, they're probably well. I just stress out about it. I just, I just get nervous. Do you want banana? Look, here, here's banana for you. Well, goats, goats, cookies. Well, they're all out, I think, eating their hay. Goats! Look. Oh, are you finally up and about? Are you gonna eat the banana? You stepped on it. Your banana's over there. <laughs> What's going on? We'll eat your banana. Well, now it's empty. I put it over here. Don't stick your head through there, it'll get stuck. Goats are very cute, but not very bright. What are you doing? Your banana's over there. I threw it for you. You're gonna have to sniff it out. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, baby. Oh, you are too cute. Hello, hello, little baby. Hello, little baby. Go get your, go get your bananas. Go get your bananas. <sighs> now I'm gonna have to get it for her cause she can't see it. Tovi, hi baby. Hello Tovi baby. Let's get this. It's Operation Get the Goat Her Banana. Hello Tovi. Operation Get the Goat Her Banana. There you go. There you go. There you go. <gasps> Mission successful. She got her banana. Well, don't drop it outside of the thing. I'm not going to get you your mushed up banana. Oh, and now you're literally trying to drop it. Are you a good little goat? Not very smart, but pretty, very pretty goat. Look, she's really trying to drop it out. Oh my goodness. You literally, you dropped it. You, you dropped this. This is why I have these gloves on that are waterproof. Here you go. Hey, little goat. There you go. You're welcome. You're welcome. I love you very much. I love you very much. You are a pain in my bottom, but you're a very cute goat. You're a very cute goat. Yeah, a beauty. A beauty. Now, if you come over here, you would see that I gave you a giant pile of potato chips. Well, mostly they're corn chips. Well, whatever. Yep, you got the banana. You got the lucky banana. You won the lottery tonight. And you should go eat some hay. <sighs> Tuffy, tell it, Tuffy. What are you doing in here, honey? It's kind of cold in here tonight. All right, time for the chores. That was it for the goat for the goat cam this evening. You had enough of the nonsense of the goats. Little Tovi. <coughs> Go in one of your warm beds. Go in one of your warm beds. What are you sitting in here for? You wanted to say hello? Oh. Say goodnight, Tovi. Say goodnight. Kitties. Hi, Jasper, baby. Hi, Sharky. Hi, kittens. Hi, kittens. Hi, little.
little lady. Are you enjoying your heat lamp? Cozy kittens. Cozy kittens for the evening. Yeah, nice and cozy. Yeah, that's my insulin pump. I have to go change it. Good night, babies. Stay cozy and warm. Snuggling in your in your bed. Good night, handsome baby. Good night, handsome kitten. Good night. Good night. Is that an American Eagle? Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. Didn't know if we were... Okay, I'm videoing you now. See, this here is my whipping stein. That's what I'm gonna take to back to Illinois. Alright, this is going on the vlog. So I hope, yes, <laughs> it is. Yes, it is. I tricked you. Re record. I ain't going on the vlog like that. <laughs> Are we actually like on one of those planets? Shall we? We are. It's the millennial falcon. <gasps> oh, Whoa. That's insane. Wait, is that it? It's down here. You sure? What's that one? There's Lee. Oh, it's down here? Oh my god, I almost fell down the stairs. <laughs> job they did. Alright, what are we, 245? Yep. I think. Check your
what's this one? Is this like... Cheers, Mom! <laughs> Sleeps like Dumia. Look at that face! Which way do we gotta go? That way. Gotta go on this side. 